Hey guys, so for all my New York friends out there that have been busting my chops over the weekend so far about Lundquist leaving the Rangers, not retiring, going to um, Washington Capitals, playing with Alex Ovechkin, and they're all making, you know, he's not the king anymore because Ovechkin and, you know, all this blood, you know, these jokes. But um, so what I had to do, what I decided to do is play a little joke and I already got my friends so they can watch this and obviously I'm not going to put this and then post it and then like I'm not going to fall for your your prank. So I made a little prank right here it says uh, ignore that uh, prank virus right. So prank virus is exactly what it sounds it's a prank that looks like a virus. It's not malicious it's not nothing that's going to damage your machine it's just a little prank. So it was about a handful of people on my, you know, we have a little WhatsApp group that um, a lot of friends that used to play hockey and growing up, it's like a ranger um, thing. So they all know I love Lundquist and I'm still gonna support him wherever he goes and whatever, he has one more year, you know, leave the guy alone. He wants to win, he wants the cup, you know? So here we go. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you guys exactly what I did for this virus and how I got it over to my friends, that's a little tricky. So I'll, I'll say that at the end of the video, I'll save that. But um, we'll go through what this virus is doing or what this fake batch file is doing. So what you can do is right click on here. First you can, well, let me do this. Let me actually copy this. Let me X out of here. I wanna start from scratch. So the way you do it is you open up a notepad. Okay, open up notepad. Notepad is fine, and I want to go ahead and paste this. So, if you literally want to, like, if you want this, just hit me up on Instagram and give me your email or whatever, and I can just paste this in so you don't have to type all this. I went and typed this all in, but um, actually, this is, I can X out, I can cancel that. And for example, I'm going to put 10 seconds so you guys can see, see it in action. I just want to correct a few things. Let me actually, uh, Actually, when you do, I mean, minimize that. I actually have to edit the real one. Um, that was silly of me. Sorry. Uh, let me put this to 10 seconds. It's a very, it's very funny. Uh, they actually got scared and I actually cracked up. But um, so pretty much what it's doing, you know, it's doing echo off the color. So when it executes in the command line, it shows the color. So if you open up a command line, um, it's going to show up white like this. So if you do color 02, it's my favorite. I like the green. So when you do it, it looks more, I don't know, matrixy. I don't know what you want to call it. But um, so, and, and then it's going to pretty much do echo. It's going to show this on the screen, you know, asterisk, 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 blah, blah, blah. Virus found. <laughs> and then, and then it's going to show another uh, asterisk and then virus, de you know, deleting your critical files. Rootkit found, rootkit infecting, personal information being stolen. You know, it, it, you can pretty much put whatever you want on here. And I, I wrote something, I did this one and, an, and another one about I love Lundquist virus because it was about a Lundquist, but I wanted to scare them first with this to um, pull their chain. So I wanna make sure you can see all the way at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do here is, um, if you see here, it says timeout, um, that's, uh, slash capital T 10. So that's gonna say 10 seconds, no break. So you cannot like, you can't break the um, the the command shell. And then it's gonna say shut down. It's gonna shut down your machine in 10 seconds. And it's gonna, when it's, when it's shutting down where it says log off or whatever, you're gonna see it when we execute it. It's gonna say personal information stolen, critical, cr critical data files corrupted, hardware deletion, which they, uh, I think I got about seven of them, eight of them, I think, in my chat, and <laughs> and it was funny because one guy actually felt bad because he was doing some work, and when he executed it, it shut down his machine, and you can't stop it, you know. So I apologize to you know who you are, but um, you know, it's it's a it's a funny little prank. All right, cool deal. So if you if you actually want this, um, just hit me up, and you know, I'll just copy and paste this since I already typed it all out, or you can just pause the video and just do it yourself, right? So let's go ahead and X out of here. Uh, let's save it because uh, I did make some changes. 
So another cool little thing what I want to do before we execute this, because this looks a little weird, right? Like if I, if I send this, pr you know, prank virus to someone like, what the hell is this? Right? So what you can do, and there, there's a few ways you can do it. This won't work if you send it to someone. Um, the way I sent it to my friends was I have an FTP server on, on the internet that I have some files that I have on there and you can shorten the URL. So say for an example, we'll go to, we'll go to Google real quick and we'll do shorten, uh, right here, shorten URLs. Okay. And then we go to free, uh, URL shortener. So for an example, we can do, I don't know, facebook.com, right? So facebook.com and we can copy this and this is going to be FTP dot, whatever your site is, dot com, whatever you want to play your prank on. Um, so you can do facebook.com shorten URL, uh, shorten URL. What's going on here? I don't know what's happening. Uh, this is doing yahoo.com. I don't know why it's doing that. Let's go ahead and give this a, let's go ahead and do another one. Short URL. Let's do, I don't know. I don't know why that one wasn't working, but let's just do this one. Facebook, ah, no. Sorry guys, facebook.com, shorten URL. So this will be copy URL and this will be like your ftp.abc.com and wherever your, you know, slash your, and, and your file. So now if I go here and I paste that, you know, and I send this over to your friends and stuff, you can go here and then I'll go to facebook.com, right? So remember this is a VM, this is, a strictly a testing machine that I have on my network. So the next thing is what we can do is go ahead and right click on anywhere on your desktop or anywhere you go to new shortcut. And I want to go ahead and point this file fake virus to that. Okay. And I want to name it, um, IE for internet explorer. Okay. And now, now it looks like this. So what we can do now is right click on here, go to properties, go to change icon right here. Ignore that. And let's go ahead and look for Internet Explorer icon looking thing in. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I think there's something in here that looks like Internet Explorer. Right here, Internet Explorer. Boom, apply, okay. So now, if you're on the same network, for example, you can share this folder out and then point it to a network share if you're on the same network as that person. But if you're going over the internet, obviously this is not gonna work. But you know, if you have someone in your house or you want to play a prank on someone that you have local access to their computer, you can just do this. And when they remember, this is, this is it. So when you double click on this, it's an execute the, the fake virus. So double click, they're gonna say, Oh, now it says here, now it shows everything virus found deleting your files, rootkit, blah, 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 seven seconds, uh, and control C to quit. It's not going to work because we put no break and that's it. It will give it three, two, one. It'll shut the machine down and they can't do anything. So that's it. And you'll see it once it shuts down, it says personal information stolen, critical info, blah, blah, blah. And you're about to sign out. And then meanwhile, it's shutting down the machine. Uh, we'll give it a second, shutting down. And that that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It's a fun little thing. Like I, I used to do these, you know, back in undergrad and I used to make funny ones that popped up and just like continuously popped up, but I didn't want to go too crazy with them because they're, they're not geeks. They're, they're different kind of people. They're, they're not it, but yeah, that was it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you have any questions, if you want that script, hit me up and I can, I can send it over to you. All right, guys. Awesome. Take care. Go Lundquist. You got this brother. Get that cup.